Welcome back to Charlie of Sheringham's Road to Glory episode number five. Uh, this is the team that we've got at the minute. Of course, I've stuck a uh, contract there on Arsene Wenger before we get into the game. But three silvers of Kieran Trippier, Nick Powell and Osborne. And we come up against this squad here, which is just a complete random single match search. We may upgrade this later on because we keep getting crappy teams like this to say gold matches or whatnot. But obviously I can't do anything less than gold cups because of my team. So we have to get a half decent team before we start doing that. So what I will start by saying is that this will be a four game episode due to the fact that there's a rage quitter straight away here as Charlie Sheringham knocks us in the back of the net to make it 1-0 after seven minutes and the guy quits. But also due to the fact that this is my last Xbox 360 footage, um, obviously gone on to Xbox One, next gen, whatever you want to call it. Um, so obviously I wanted to fit it all into one episode as opposed to split it across the two. So with that 1-0 win, we take out Pierce and we bring in Osborne, which gives us a bit of a dilemma because we now have two Osbournes, two Pals and two Sheringhams. But we realise that straight away, so they're not all in the squad for too much longer, just to spoil that. So we've gone on to our second game here against an all-English Rare bronze team. It's a nice little team. couple of players in there that I looked at myself, especially Christian Jolly, who is a fantastic player who I did have. Um, and I would just say that my big difference um, for me personally between the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 is the passing is so much better on the Xbox One and crossing. Now, I can actually win headers, which is rare. I still don't concede that many, but obviously I don't just whore it out because I do like doing that, knocking the ball across the box because everybody's expecting you to header it. So when you don't and you knock it across the box like that, and Charlie Sheringham is there again, second goal of the episode, and he's still banging them in for me. Great teamwork again here by Charlie Sheringham, just taking his time with the passing to Teddy all the way across to Weston, who should really do better than that. But um, Trippier gets unlucky there with a cross, or nearly gets lucky, whichever way you want to put it. But I will say, you know, my passing on um, the 360 has always been pretty decent, but on the Xbox One it's even better. The passing is just so smooth as Teddy Sheringham hits the bar there, and we are unlucky not to make it 2-0. And he does equalise just before half-time. Now Richard Wright, who a lot of people will still be wondering why I still have a bronze goalkeeper in goal. For me, he doesn't do anything wrong here. He saves the shot, it just goes straight back to him. You call it scripting, you call it unlucky, whatever it is. It's not my goalkeeper's fault at the end of the day. But thankfully, early into the second half, we do punish him and we bag ourselves a couple of goals to, well, to be honest, get a quite an easy victory out of it. We beat the guy 4-1 in the end, as you will see the clips coming up now. But what I wanted to say about the Xbox One again is just, I don't feel like pace is so important on the Xbox One. Like, yeah, it, it is more down to strength and it, it suits my style a lot more, I will be honest. So I think I'm going to be winning a lot more games with this squad a lot quicker um, on the on the next gen. Obviously, I have tried it out. I've played a couple of games. I'm not giving away spoilers yet because I haven't done too many of this series on there. As I said, we get a 4-1 win, but I've played with a couple of other teams and I'm playing. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So we upgrade the right midfielder here. We take out Powell. We bring in Ben Marshall, who again, him and Nick Powell, are unbelievable. We come up against Sweat City here. Leeds City, as he's called his team. Um, Sweat Century it was even. And it's just a Scottish squad. But um, I'm going to dip out of the commentary in a second just so you hear this guy's reaction because it's brilliant. He did it twice. Sadly, I can only show you the commentary for the first goal because in the second one, he was playing Nelly or some sort of rapper, so loud down the music, uh, down the mic, sorry, that obviously I wouldn't be allowed to play that. Uh, so he gets unlucky there with that chance, and he gets unlucky again in a moment. He should be, well, at least one, maybe possibly two nil up. So you can possibly understand his frustration in a moment, straight after this clip when I score. So I'm going to dip out of the commentary now and just let you enjoy it, and I'll come straight oh, back. Shit, I'm going to have a kick with it. I'm an idiot. Oh, Marker in a calm shot. Oh, bloody headshots. Headshots. Takes the shot off. That's a no, good no, goal. No, 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 no. Well, no sooner is the Teddy referee given the goal, he's going to blow for half time. They've scored just before the whistle. Yeah, that's no. changed the. <laughs> so as you can hear, there he's, he's not very happy that I've got Teddy Sheringham, and he certainly wasn't very happy here when I scored this goal. It's a great ball in by Weston. It's a bit too far, but I thought you know just knock it back across with Charlie. Straight to his dad, Teddy, and it's in again. And he's absolutely raging yet again. But sadly, I can't I can't put the footage on there for that, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I may do a series for it later on and try and include it all. But that's the tuna win. And in here, we upgrade Jay Rodriguez 
comes in for Weston. Weston was decent, but it was just pace, pace, pace. His first touch was atrocious. His crossing, as you saw there, was just too long. And overall, I didn't really like the player. Now we come into our final game on the 360 and the final game in this episode. And it is against this absolute sweat Brazilian squad. Now, both of us started off really poorly. I believe both of us should have scored early on. Great chance there from Nick Powell on the volley. As I said previously, Nick Powell and Ben Marshall, for me, are two absolutely amazing players. If you have silver squads, um, especially English squads or even championship squads, as now he's at Wigan and he's at Blackpool, uh, Blackburn, sorry, Ben Marshall being at Blackburn from Leicester City. Um, yeah, it, I would definitely incorporate both of them. Now, he takes a nice lead here. That's a great finish. I will hand it to him there. Great goal by that. But it made us both get into the game quite a bit. And it was actually a pretty decent game, in fairness. I mean, his was mainly pace. But straight into the second half, as you'll see here, he makes a bit of a mistake there. That's what happens when you just spam your button. Great ball into Charlie Sheringham. Should be finishing that, but it doesn't. And Teddy knocks it away. Again, Sheringham and Sheringham combination. Father and son is still paying off for me. And it pays off for a long time still. I mean, these two have been really good for me. I think I am going to struggle definitely later into the series when I've got an all goal team. I think it's going to be... He, well, I think Charlie is going to be a liability. But as you saw there, he gets 2-1 up. But it's not too much longer until we get back on the counter-attack ourselves. Nice ball over the top here, I believe, is coming. Nope, hang on. Hang on, hang on. No, the ball doesn't go in the air at all. Not sure what I'm banging on about. Charlie Sheringham, though, into the box. Fires it across goal. Comes down to Nick Powell. Great ball across. And Teddy Sheringham knocks it in yet again. Now, Teddy Sheringham is carrying me. There's no two ways about that. But Charlie is getting his just amount of goals as well. And with Nick Powell and Ben Marshall in there now, as this game goes to extra time and he grabs a winner, Ben Marshall and Nick Powell being fantastic for me as well. So that is going to wrap up the episode. Obviously, we have ourselves a loss here, so we have no upgrade. But what I will ask below is if you could find me a decent um, rare bronze goalkeeper to upgrade because I've got to upgrade at some point to Richard Wright I don't think he's doing too much wrong but I need to upgrade him at some point so as always if you like what you see give me a like give me any suggestions below in the comments and I'll catch you all next time